Hey guys, so um, I hope you can hear me. I'm in my room at the B&B that Amy of Rustic Essential has booked for me. So it's kind of late, that's why I'm whispering, but I wanted to give you guys a little quick sneak peek. And this room is just like so amazing, and this house is like super amazing. So let me turn this way. So that is my amazing bed right there. And this bathroom is just beautiful. Look at that. That is the tub that I am about to get in in a few seconds because I am tired. But I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful room with all my stuff. So, hi and good night, guys. So, I'll see you tomorrow at the event. Bye bye. Good morning, everybody. Guess where I am? I told you guys that I had a surprise for you all and I am in South Carolina and the reason why I'm in South Carolina is because I'm going to Rustic Essential and the owner of Rustic Essential, Amy, she is such a sweetheart. She's having her fall y'all uh, open house event. So I'm going to get to go into Rustic Essential and it's just amazing. It's a Soper's dream come true. I can't thank her enough and she just guys got to show you I'm in the back of this historical home that she has set up it's a B&B &B and we spent the night here I'm going to show you guys a picture of it I didn't want to film while I was inside without asking permission but this is the back of it guys isn't it beautiful absolutely beautiful so we are actually on our way to Rustic Essential and a few minutes, just about 10 minutes away. So when I get there, I'll take you guys along with me. So enjoy. Hey guys, so I finally made it to Rustic Central and this is the open house of it. So here we go. That's their table. That's us coming in. You get a free goodie bag and I'm in somebody's way. <laughs> I am like super excited to be here. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. As soon as you walk through the doors, it smells amazing in here. So we're gonna go along the tables and see what we got. So nice. How cute is that? <laughs> Here's a basket of samples that you can get, which I'm gonna get some of these goodies. Mm -hmm. And look at guys, look how exciting is that. There's my soaps. Oh, that should be a Yeah. All of these are my made these. Even this candle here? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Even the candle? No, I just do the soaps. The soap. All of the soaps here are mine. You do hot process or cold process? Cold process. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, I'm feeling great here. <laughs> so I've, been doing, I've been doing hot process. I did cold process one time with coconut milk. It's, it's like this. Oh guys, I forgot to tell you I brought my mom with me. Hey mother, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> say hi ladies. <laughs> guys, I just spotted something on the table and I'm like mind blown. Even though he's not here and I was really hoping that he could come, but look whose soaps are here. Hi Clyde. I wish that you were here. I got your soaps. I cannot wait to get my hands on these and smell your goodies. Oh, this is super exciting. Look at that, guys. Yay! And uh, Amy asked me to come and do some CP soap demonstrations. I mm -hmm. said, well, if I make a batch of soap, I just be done and we got to do something. So I said, what if we have some soaps on your website? I mean, some, some fragrances on your website that don't have any notes with them. Yeah. I mean, some new fragrances. Uh -huh. and we want to see how they react with CP soap. So I've got my basic large blend mm -hmm. that I measured up last night in the 24 ounce containers and the 24 ounces of this fat will make this fat blend will make two pounds of soap mm -hmm. and we're going to put a pound of the raw soap in each one of these mm -hmm. and you see I've labeled them mm -hmm. so and we're going to test these these scents to yeah. see if they accelerate or if they uh, discolor in any way so she'll have the next website. Okay. So you know my, if I'm going to be here I might as well do something useful. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, we appreciate you showing us how to do it, and it is so nice to see you and meet you. I'm nice super to excited you. to get started. Um, you said lard. Lard, yeah. Like Pig cooking fat. lard? Yeah. Pig fat. For real. Yeah. That's what they used to make it out of. Remember Granny on the Beverly Hillbillies? Well, she made herself right. out of lard. You know? Did you not know, know that. Sweet. Yeah. Making soap from scratch, like the old timey way, like our ancestors did when they killed the hogs. Yeah. And there's this is um, about 60% lard. And it has some coconut oil in it, and some olive oil, and some soybean oil. I know that's a good one. So that's got to be really good for your yeah, skin. Yeah, it's very good for your skin. I mean, hog fat is identical to people fat, just about. So yeah. You might as well. I don't. I don't import in a lot of. Uh, Pansy butters and that kind of thing. I, I like to use what we have right here and what you can get your hands on from mm -hmm. one day to the next. Mm -hmm. that's, cool. what, that's what this is. But I have. Okay guys, I am at Rustic Essentials Tart Table. What's your name? I'm Victoria. Victoria, your name? Nadia. Nice to meet you. All right, so what you got there? I'm making a tart and um, this is the kit for it. Mm -hmm. Everything comes in it, uh, wax, uh, oil, thermometer, and a couple of molds. Mm -hmm. And also um, a colorant if you want it to be a different color. Okay. And this is the kit for it, and also instruction. And um, I poured one ounce, I mean 16 ounce of wax in there. Mm -hmm. And I added one ounce of spice pumpkin latte. Okay. To give it a smell. And I poured it in one of these molds. And this is what you get. All right. I'm going to bar your get that guy so I can use my blender. So for any of you who are interested in tart making, I told you, check out their website. They have so many different sections of their store, um, candle making, tarts, soaps, and I'm just going to go through. Are you guys going to be doing any making today or? I just, yeah, I just did these. Okay. Yeah, so we missed her doing those, but we got to see it. And if you guys are interested in making your own uh, wax melts and tarts, you can get the kit here at Rustic Essentials. So see you guys in a second. Um, this is one pound of fair soy tart wax, and I'm going to add cranberry salsa, one ounce. And then I'm going to mix it for a little bit. Smells very good. I always tell my brother we're making me some technicians. He's got a master's degree in ceramic engineering. He didn't do any of it. He works for the biggest pinnacle company in the world now. He's an acquisition Or in one of these. She moved down to the Florida Keys. I can't. She quit making it. guys that's how you how easy it is to make your wax tarts and your wax melts thank you so much ladies i appreciate you demonstrating for me say bye
they even have it cater. I mean, she just didn't, she didn't hold back with all the great stuff that she's doing for this event. So I'm going to show you what we have here. We have some drinks. Oh, look at that. I'm going to definitely be trying that. Rosemary pink lemonade. That sounds delicious. And we have some apple cider as well. Ah, the people of Rustic Essential, they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just came into our room at the Holiday Inn, thanks to Rustic Essential. They have been so amazing to us, and I'm just so appreciative, so I just want to give you guys a little tour of the room. There's my mom. She decided to come with me, who can't stop yawning or stay awake, <laughs> because we have had a very, very long day, but it's been so worth it. <laughs> So just show you our gorgeous room this is awesome thank you guys everybody at rustic essential thank you so much it has been totally amazing and we're not done yet so today is friday and there i am looking busted but that's okay um we're gonna go hang out with all the rustic essentials in a sec so i just wanted to show you our beautiful room and i will see you guys later bye bye Hey everybody, so right now I was so fortunate enough to be invited back to Amy's house and I just had to show you guys her backyard. Her backyard is just like something I've never ever seen before. It is absolutely beautiful and she allowed me to share this with you all. So I'm going to take a stroll back here. It is the most prettiest backyard. I mean, seriously guys, wouldn't you just love to have land like this? This is gorgeous. And she has the prettiest pond. So I'm gonna take you guys back here. Look at that. All the beautiful green trees and there's actually a little lake right over this fence line. Alright killers. Okay killers. Ow! Oh, prickly. Prickly bushes. Mm -hmm. Is it? This is absolute paradise. If I had a backyard like this, here's the birds. If I had a backyard like this, I swear I'd never leave. I told her I was moving in. She said, okay, so guys, I'm sorry. There'll be no more filming after this. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is.
Oh, it's just so peaceful. You hear that? That just sounds so amazing. And there's fish in our pond, too. You really can't see them because the water's kind of murky because it's been raining, but it is filled with pretty little fish in here. But how beautiful is this pond? I'm just so thankful I got to come visit her. She is the most amazing person you'll ever encounter. She really, really is, guys. And anybody who buys products from Rustic Essential, you are supporting a very, very kind-hearted, wonderful lady. So this is her personal little paradise. And she has the most amazing bird feeders. It was filled with birds earlier, but I think they all flew off probably because I'm back here. Let's see. If I can get a little bit closer. Yeah, I think all the birdies took off because I'm back here. But I just wanted to show you guys because this backyard is absolutely amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I wish you were here to see it, but you get to share a little bit of what I got to see. So thank you so much, Amy, for allowing me in your home. Me and my mom, we are greatly, greatly appreciative of all your Southern hospitality. You are the best person I've ever encountered. And I'm not just saying that, you are a wonderful, wonderful person. All right, guys, so I am off. We are on our way to the mountains. And I'll be taking you along with us, so see you there. Hi there, Tiggy. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Tiggy. Hello. Can I say hi? Hello, handsome boy. Say now, so you can look at me, that's about it. Hey, sweet boy. I did get them chattering earlier, so. Oh,
I am just having the time of my life. I'm so glad that Amy, Amy told me to come here. And I am so glad that we came because I did want to see some cool things before we left. Look at this, guys. How cool is that? So, I'm going to filming and show you guys the rest of what we see. Enjoy! Gold. It would be pretty. Cool looking, huh? How would you like one of those for dinner? <laughs> and she's going bowling with that spiky thing. <laughs> Woo, strike! <laughs> Check out this cool uh <laughs> if that's not cool, I don't know what it is. <laughs> that is a fancy walk and I guarantee if there was someone else in here with us she wouldn't be walking like that. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. This place is amazing, though. Raw appleberry. Yeah, check that out, guys. Raw appleberry. Woohoo! <laughs> My mom's repping. <laughs> 